Hi everyone, Douglas Russell from the Institute of Child Protection Studies here. This video is going to help you learn how to navigate your dashboard. Once you've clicked on the dashboard you want to view, you'll end up at the welcome page. Let's start by understanding the different pages. Here we can see the different pages in the Children's Safety Survey dashboard. These are organized according to different sections within the survey. Simply click on the page you want to view. Each page has a number of widgets on it. Each widget gives either an explanation of something, such as the questions and answer options given to participants, or presents findings in the form of mean scores, graphs, or charts. Many widgets will have a small information icon here to help you understand specific aspects of the associated question. You can also see the number of responses associated with each question. Remember that participants can choose with each question whether or not they would like to answer or not. Let's now take a look at the different ways you can filter your results on the dashboard. First, you can filter individual widgets. For example, if you only want to see the total score for responses broken down by age without the individual genders, we can click on these in the widget. And now we only see the totals. Alternatively, we can use a page filter to make the same change to all the widgets on the page. For example, if we only want to see responses from females in regards to the sense of safety for an adult scenario question, that's what we're seeing now. The page filter also allows organizations with multiple locations or services to see results for these specific groups. You can choose as many or as few as you like. Now we're only looking at results for Brown's College years 9, 10 and 11 and remember still only female responses. If you've collected data more than once, the completion date filter is really useful for comparing findings across two different time points. So again you have different options here or you can put a custom date range. It's important to note that page filters only apply to the page that you're on at the time. Here we're on sense of safety in a peer-based situation and the location and the gender filters have not been applied. Remember, you need a minimum of five participants or 10, 10 for mean scores for data to show. For example, if we look for 10 to 13 year old female participants in year seven, we can see that there's been quite a reduction in regards to some of the bars that are showing. And if we go to 10 to 12, or even 10 to 11, we'll suddenly see that there's no data found. Our filters may be too exclusive. This either means that there aren't enough participants related to these filters. Obviously in this case, we can understand that there are probably no 10 to 11 year olds in year seven. But if we were up to say uh, 10 to 12, and there was no data found, it could be that only one or two participants had filled in the survey. This helps us protect participants' anonymity. I hope you found this video helpful, and as always, if you have any questions, please do contact us.